Framed and I got 5 weeks left to level up and prepare our brand new hardcore Iron Man before we fight till the death. I'm gonna go from 55 strength to 70 strength, so don't blink. Oh, just missed the level. 70 strength, 60 attack, we can now enter the warrior's guild, but before we do that, we're gonna get some prayer levels up with my fossil island prayer method. This is how my prayer method works. You come here to the northern part of fossil island, you bring a full inventory of bones and fossils and 10 calcite and 10 pyros fights. You add 10 calcium, you add 10 phosphite and you add all the fossils you got in your inventory and then you start popping these fossils once the progress bar has gone to zero you open this sluice gate you grab every bone from the rinsing pool like look look at the xp drops 2.5k for the rare ones and look at my prayer levels they just pop off and that is five prayer levels in one inventory I think I'm gonna get myself all the way to 70 prayer just by AFKing at the Ammonite Crab, so this is gonna be great. I still don't have any prayer potions on this account, so I need to preserve my prayer doing this defender grind to be here in here as long as oh to be in here as long as possible now, but now we go out. What is my luck? Five kills and we already got Iron Defender. I got a Steel Defender on 15 kills. Oh it's over Defender of the Dragons has been obtained. I cannot swear it still, but we're done here. I did end up getting very, very unlucky on this grind. 369 kills. Still on the drop rate, but based on how good it started off, it ended very, very slowly. Let's sell all this loot from the Cyclops. 129k, is that enough? Buy a rune plate body. Broke our cash stack, but we got rune. We got a nice helmet. I was completely AFK, but we got a 60 defense. We can wear the Dragon Defender upgrade. I need to upgrade these gloves because they are horrible. Off to recipe for disaster, we go. All right, first quest completed, fishing contest. And we have saved the mountain dwarf. The golem, completed. We have saved pirate pea. I need to get my cooking up for recipe for disaster. And this shop is perfect by Floss in Jatiso. And that's Gertrude's cat, completed. Oh, 10k rage experience, 28 range. Shadow of the storm, completed. Evil Dave has been saved. And that's nature's spirit, completed. And that's big shop and bird hunting, completed. And that's the lumbridge guide. Now we have freed Scratch, Bone Crusher, Ugly Glugly, and we now can access the Addy Gloves, huge upgraded glove slot. But that's not the only upgrade I'm getting. I'm getting an upgrade in real life, a brand new watch from Halskern. And Halskern happens to be today's video sponsor. Halskern has multiple jewelry and fashion pieces for men and women, and it's just the perfect accessory for you to take your fashion to the next level. Our fashion in real life is equally as important as our fashion on RuneScape. Halskern has more than 1,000 different products. All of the products are one of a kind thanks to the natural materials that they use, and all of the wooden materials that they use are FSC certified. I wanted something unique for myself, so I got myself a watch that I would most likely never find in a store in my area. This Holskin watch is called Woodley in Maple and Black. This brand have more than 10 physical stores across Germany and Austria. And of course, if you use my code C Engineer, you get 15% discount and free shipping. Link in the description down below or click the QR code on the screen. Make sure to get yourself something unique this year. My best moneymaker right now, last man standing. After playing this for one hour, we bought rune arrows and sold it to a just a general store and made 160k. Very quick money for an early game Iron Man. Alright Connor, be humble. Black demons in Shism of Fire. I don't advise anyone to do this on their account, but you can't use blighted super stores in normal worlds, but if you do hop to a PvP world, taking a tiny bit of risk here. Okay, no one's here. We can now sip the blighted super stores and then jump back to normal world and continue training with Blighted Restores. For the final fight against Framed, I'm gonna need a Rune Crossbow, the best range weapon I can obtain. And to obtain myself the Rune Knight Crossbow, I need to go to the wilderness right here where we can find the crazy archaeologist. And for this grind, I'm gonna need an Iban Staff. There we go, underground pass completed. We can use this staff 2,500 times before it degrades and it will cost me 200,000. Very expensive, 
but worth it. Since Crazy Archaeologist is above level 20, we need a safe teleport, so we bought ourselves an escape crystal. I'm actually a bit scared because if I die and have to remake this account, 97 quest points, 811 total, I'm gonna be so upset. I should have brought myself a looting bag, why did I think of that? Coins. What is this drop? A dragon stone. That's 10 kills, still nothing. You, you gotta be joking with me. A long bone. Who's this guy? It's just a PBM? I'm, I'm dipping. I'm getting closer to the drop rate of the rune crossbows. Now I've completed another combat achievement. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't think I've blinked for the past 30 minutes. I know the exact fucking feeling, dude. No. I got the shard! No! That's pain! That's nothing but pain! Uh, uh, I'm crying. Okay, this is actually good. Red Dehyde Body. Who would have predicted that? 63 magic from this grind. Ah, lovely. Together with the help of a little beer, we can enter the magic's guild. And I'm, I'm gonna upgrade a few stuff. The boots, the robes. It's just gonna increase my accuracy. It does nothing to my damage. But it looks nicer, and I like nice. Here I am thinking it would be a one hour quick grind for a rune crossbow. No, 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 Jagex wants me to suffer. Is that my third longbone? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. It's actually done. Lucky number 66. It's done. I put it in my looting bag. The rune crossbows is over. 66 kill count. I'm so happy. Oh, uh, let's get that range up. Let's AFK range. It's time. Me and Framed are also racing in subscribers, so if I hit 300,000 subscribers before he hits 500k, I win. Alright, I really want to complete the quest Animal Magnetism now. Two requirements left, 35 woodcutting and Ernest the Chicken. Ernest the Chicken completed. And there it is, Animal Magnetism completed. We got the Avis Attractor. I don't have many options for my ranged training method, so we're just gonna go ahead and buy ourselves a Darkshin crossbow. Bone bolts. Alright, we got ourselves 42 range. We can upgrade to the green dragon hide. I still need to get myself a power amulet. I got a little bit carried away. 51 range. We can now upgrade our Avis and go to our next location. Avis accumulator uh, unlocked. All right, we are right here in the Forthos dungeon, killing red dragons. We get two things from these dragons: grab a keys for our potential bruise for the final fight against Framed. And we get dragon bones for the piety and chivalry grind. This way we kill two birds with one stone. We're here at Soul Wars and one of the rewards from here are supply crates where you can obtain runite and add a bolts. And I'm gonna use those for my training method. We can afford three spoils of war. I'm just gonna gamble here. Are we gonna get luck on the first three? Rune arrows, add the bolts, beautiful. And runite bolts, that's actually beautiful. Exactly what we needed. Oh, hello, grubby key. That's our first one. Something I need to enter the grubby chest is 57 thieving. I'm currently 44. Actually, do I do one barrel's chest? I ended up completing Shades of Morton. This way, I can just teleport to this location every 30 minutes. It's gonna speed up my Barrow's runs very nice. So let's do one Barrow's run right now. Barrow's run on a PvP world just so I can use restores is pretty scary. Oh well. All right, we got this strange icon. This is a very important item. Or not important, but very nice item because we're gonna get a lot of prayer experience from this guy. All right, use the strange icon on this guy. Oh, uh, we get a lamp. A lamp for 20k prayer experience, 50 to pray right now. And uh, smite has been unlocked. Another bear chest? Nothing. Nothing. If I'm lucky or unlucky, I will be getting a lot of magic levels from Barrows. We are gonna need 82 magic either way for ice splits, which I wanna unlock in the future. Uh, 53 thieving and requirement for desert treasure. All right, another barrel chest for nothing. These jangberry seeds from the fruit cells is perfect for barrels. They restore one prey point, which is enough to kill a barrel's brother. And I don't need to use any prey potions. I don't need to hop to a PvP world to use the blighted restores. So this works perfectly. All right, another chest for nothing. I mean, the death rose is pretty good. We need that for the Ivan staff. I'm already out of bolts for some reason, so I got myself three more supply crates. Can we get 
Balls, thank you. Add balls. Oh, that's beautiful. 406 added balls. And let's end the video with a Carol's top. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh my, what am I looking at? Is that a gather hammer? He's a beast. And that's 65 magic. All right, Jagex. Reward me. Uh, wait, is this actually good for the final fight? No, it's absolutely not good. Why an iron suit? It's our first item. I should not complain. It could potentially be a magic helmet for the final fight. All right, thieving grind over 56 thieving. We can now boost up to enter the grubby chest. All right, poison chalice, give us the boost. Nope, nope. There we go. We got the boost. We're inside. Give us the bruise. We got prayer potions and runner weed. Ah, another groovy key. Anything? No bruise, but we do get super attack, super strength, and super defense. That will actually come in handy for the final fight. All right, that's 77 points at last man standing. A huge upgrade. The rune pouch. I've just had too many runes in my inventory, so this is gonna be very, very nice. And 66 magic. All right, good luck. Oh, yes! That's actually huge. I'm, I could potentially be done here because this is the tank legs I need. Tank legs for the final fight. That's actually beautiful. 25 kill count. I got some top secret and very important grinds to do in the next episode. So subscribe so you don't miss out.